The last week's RBI move has rekindled the memories of 2016 note ban, when people had to brave long queues and harsh weather to exchange rupees 500 and rupees 1000 notes. But this time, the central bank has ensured that the phasing out of 2000 rupee notes is pain free. The banks have been advised, we have issued uh, further circulars uh, yesterday to the banks to make necessary arrangements, including uh, you know, arrangements uh, to ensure that the people do not stand in the, under the hot sun in the, you know, this peak summer to make arrangements for drinking water. But I do not expect uh, the uh, kind of a rush in the bank branches. You have four months from now to exchange them. To quell panic and anxiety, the RBI has clarified that withdrawal of the pink notes does not mean that they have been demonetized. Essentially, it means that people can continue to use them for purchasing goods and services. In a notice, the State Bank of India has also said that exchanges up to 20,000 rupees can be done without the need of any ID proof or filling of forms. Amidst these, what are the best methods you can adopt to exchange or deposit the pink notes? I think there is no restriction per se in order to deposit whatever amount of money you want to deposit in your bank. It is on the restriction is only for the exchange of note. If you want, if you have uh, 10 lakh rupees and you want to deposit in your bank account, you can do it uh, without any pr problem. So individual can exchange up to 10 notes of 2000 rupees note and they need to for, for that they need to fill in the form and submit their identity proof. Uh, that clarification from ISBI have come just in today, but still I, I think that is not widely been implemented uh, right now by the bank. So many of the private banks and other banks are still uh, still want people to fill in that form and take their identity proof for a simple reason that even the banks would need to have that record that to whom they have given these notes and how they have exchanged. So, so in, I mean, if, if that that is not done, that the whole purpose of uh, uh, government again withdrawing 2000 rupees notes is defe defeated. So it's, it's, it would be like a simple plain vanilla, like ex exchange whatever you want. There would be no question asked. RBI is, is encouraging quote unquote, encouraging you and me and people uh, to get rid of this note, exchange these notes with other other notes, uh, uh, give it to the bank um, in the form of deposit. Look at the UK example. UK has been doing this, you know, withdrawal of certain currency. They continue to be legal tender and they remain legal tender for next 5, 10, 15 years. As and when you want to get rid of if you do that, there is no deadline there. Will India do that? That's a that's the key question now. But the the language of the RBI, you see, this the flexibility is there. The RBI pointed that there's enough lower denomination currency notes available to meet all the demands. It also said that the value of 2,000 rupee notes in circulation has declined from 37.3% in 2018 to a mere 10.8% in 2023. Further, the RBI cited its clean note policy while deciding to withdraw the pink notes. While exchanges up to 20,000 rupees can be done without requisition slips, PAN of the depositor will be required for deposits above 50,000 rupees in a day. This is according to the rule passed by the Central Board of Direct Taxes in May last year. But will you face any difficulties exchanging and depositing 2,000 rupee notes? For citizen, I, I think it would be, they would have a difficulty that again, uh, there would be uncertainty for them for exchange of their notes, difficulty for them to have a lower denomination notes just to have, I mean, there is even I have heard that uh, even banks are now with the limited uh, availability of 500 notes in order to exchange. So they are handing out 200. So it would be like quite a lot of notes for people to handle and manage. And due to outrush, uh, there is a long queues and waiting time. And uh, like we discussed, the awareness and information right now is very scarce and, we do, and neither the bankers nor anyone have that clarity. So it is very difficult for people to have actually take decision on this. Although RBI has not said anything about revoking legal tender of the pink notes so far, a business standard report citing sources close to the development said that the notes may be demonetized by the end of December 2023. The window to exchange and deposit of 2000 rupee currency notes is till 30th September. But a special window may extend beyond 30th September for the Indian missions abroad and Indian citizens based abroad who have 2000 denomination notes.
If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.